Hi guys, Dave from 4-4 Golf here. Um, just wanted to take you quickly through uh, the round that I had this morning up at Sun City. It was a competition Stapleford round, so um, I didn't play particularly well, but um, I think it's important that I do these debriefs even when I don't play that well. Um, I'm gonna keep it a little bit short. I was really conscious that the last couple of these you know, kind of blew out into much longer videos. So um, I'll put a link to, to the stats that you can go and check out on Game Golf. Um, but yeah, just wanted to go through some of them, some of the, the highlights that, well, yeah, there weren't many. Um, so uh, overall, um, I shot a 96 today, which, uh, you know, 13 shots different to, uh, to, to my previous round uh, in the comp last week. Um, and really and truly, the, the issues that I came across really were mental more than anything else. I struck the ball very well um, all day. Um, I, I, didn't, I didn't have a problem with that, but um, I made some poor decisions and uh, I let some other um, external factors as well really, really affect um, uh, my game. So, um, uh, to start, um, it was quite a fog this morning um, and Curiously, I hit the best drive of the day um, when I couldn't actually see the fairway at all. Um, and uh, yeah, it started pretty well. Um, so I went par par start. Um, for me, I actually started on the fourth this morning. A uh, par par start, but then went uh, uh, seven over through the next four holes. So um, I, I just uh, was trying to make too many changes on the fly and I've, I've got to stop doing that during um, during a competition round. Um, I just need to stick with what you know the way the ball's coming out. And, uh, and really go from there. So uh, on the turn, um, played really uh, played really well on the first hole, the tenth hole. Um, awesome bunker shot um, out um, out from the from the fairway bunker there from about 150, and, and stuck it really close to the flag and should have hold that to be honest. Um, and then again, the slight inconsistencies, a um, couple of duff chips, and, and contributed to, to being a little bit over again for the next few holes. Um, uh, and, and then after that, I never really recovered. Um, uh, I started on the fourth, so it was a little odd, um, and, and I wonder if that had anything to do with my um, mental state. You know, it's hard to judge where you are through the round um, when when you're actually um, uh, not starting on the first or the tenth, if you like. So um, yeah, after that, um, I, I kind of I reached the the reach of seventeenth, um, which was my. Uh, my 13th hole so I still had a few to go and, and I looked at what it was and I kind of said right well I need to I have to go level par now if I'm going to have any chance of getting anywhere near my handicap let alone um, where I want to be in terms of a score so um, so I actually did quite well from, from that point um, I think I was only five over for the rest of the round from there um, and, and one of those uh, sorry four over and one of those was a double so um, uh, I, yeah, I played pretty well from there, went par par, um, double bogey where I was really quite unlucky, I'd hit a poor tee shot but um, uh, yeah, I, I'd seen a gap, executed the exact shot that I wanted and uh, just caught a tree and, and uh, ended up coming out sideways. Um, so uh, yeah, it was an awkward, uh, an awkward point as well um, as I felt I'd kind of got things back on track but um, yeah, look, it, it, it carried on. Um, I only had two holes left at that stage. Um, played pretty well through those, um, and yeah, and finished up with uh, 24 over, so 96, which yeah, considerably lower than than, than where I want to be. And, and yeah, the focus now just has to be that I, I need to be able to pick my game up when it's going well. You saw in the round review last week where I was one over through the first nine, and then the wheels came off. I just don't see at the moment that if I did that the other way around, I'd be able to turn it around. Um, and, and I need to be able to do that because it won't start perfectly every time. So, um, so yeah, I need to do that. Um, some of the other stats, forgive me, I've just got it down here. Um, so uh, fairways, 36% of fairways today. So um, out of 14, that's probably only five fairways. Um, so yeah, not, not good enough um, off the tee, although striking the ball very well. Um, I think what it came down to, I wasn't uh, wasn't confident enough to pick the right starting line in the first place. So uh, the the shape that I had pretty much all day was 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 uh, was a decent fade, but um, I just never really committed to the actual lines that they were on in the first place. So uh, from a greens in regulation perspective, disappointing again. So 22%. Um, uh, so uh, yeah, only three or four, um, something like that. 
um, uh, and when I did make the greens in regulation as well, it's telling that I made par on every hole. So um, it's yeah, it's an interesting uh, statistic that, and, and that's why I'm so focused on it. It's one of the goals, one of the goals that I have. Uh, putts wise, I had 35 putts, um, so didn't putt well. A couple of three putts. Um, they were great today. The, the the greens really really good, but I just didn't didn't putt very well at all. And I, it was all confidence, all confidence today, um, and seven percent of scrambling as well. So to be honest, I think uh, yeah, I can't think how many bunkers I was actually in, but uh, yeah, seven percent in terms of a scramble was not that great. But um, look, uh, plenty to to take from it. Um, but really, yeah, I have to take the positives. Um, it, yeah, it struck the ball very well. Um, just didn't commit to the right lines in the first place. So yeah, that's the next stage now for me. Just uh, just have that committal that um, I can hit a consistent shape and, and, and I need to be aiming accordingly. Uh, one thing that I certainly said at the start of the round to myself but uh, didn't didn't perhaps execute as well is that I need to start thinking about where I'm hitting the on the green rather than attacking the flag on every single hole as well. So. Um, Look, uh, yeah, it's uh, not all doom and gloom. The sun's shining out in Perth now, so um, yeah, we're, uh, we're we're enjoying the early spring. Um, so uh, I hopefully going to have an opportunity to to, to get out and, and bring even more content to you. Hope you hope you're enjoying it. If you do, please like the video, subscribe to the channel, share it around on all the social medias, and uh, I'll see you next time. Thanks.